As always, we go straight into the action with all the goals since last episode. I'm Aether, the channel is Aether Gaming, and this is Let's Play Sunderland in Football Manager 2019. And since last episode, I have played four games. And unfortunately, as you see right now in front of you, it's been a complete disaster. It's been embarrassingly bad. So uh, we have played four games. Those four games was two losses, one draw, and only one tiny win. And that, of course, sets us up in a... Uh, yeah, it's basically some difficult times going on here. But like a few guys, at least you have a lot of goals to watch. I mean, just this game is six goals, so just enjoy it because I'm... I'm not enjoying it. I'm uh, more or less uh, crying here. So this uh, game versus Preston is actually the only one we managed to win. And as you can tell, we started it uh, on the bad side being behind ASAP. But we managed to turn it around. And this game versus Wigan was a complete and utter disaster. They actually picked up a red card in the first half. And we missed a penalty, and I believe we hit the woodwork three times, and we ended up losing with one goal against four. It, it, it was, I'm not even sure how you describe it, it was a complete and utter nightmare. It was a, like, immediate, like imagine being 11 guys against 10, playing at home, missing a penalty, hitting the woodwork three times, ending up losing one goal against four. We created, I think it was twice, so three times as many chances, but whenever they got a highlight, it was a goal. And that brings us to this league table, where as you can tell, we have really fallen from grace. We were fighting for top two not long ago. Now we are down to 10th place. The only good thing with this is that it's really close on top. It's just a few points between teams. But well, we've gone from 2nd place to 10th place. And that's a complete disaster. That's nowhere near. Like, we are outside the playoff positions and everything now. And we can't have this continue, can we? We also picked up a very, very bad injury. And that is, unfortunately, on what's probably our best player, Harry Wilson. He picked up an injury... And when he got it, it said uh, two to three months. But uh, right now it says one and a half months because uh, I played a few games since he got the injury. It's also been an international break. So one and a half months to go. But still, it's a huge blow to us because he is, at least on paper, most likely our by far strongest player. So this is some serious bad news. But now I talk too much. Let's play some football. And as the game starts, I might as well also mention that uh, we've gotten news about Brexit. And Brexit will be happening at the end of this season. We still don't know what type of Brexit it's going to be. Because, you know, there's different types of Brexit in Football Manager. You can get a soft one, a hard one, and something in between. But it will happen after this season. And I'm not sure if Brexit is good or bad news for us. I mean, right now, we don't have many international players. But at the same time, we probably go to the, the help of international players to, to build for, for the Premiership later on because we, we won't be able to afford really good uh, English players. And when we finally get the highlight, it's a highlight for the wrong team, it's for Derby. And that's just outside the post. I can also mention that other than Wilson, we had a, quite a few injuries during uh, the last stint. Luckily for us, started injuries haven't been anything serious, but it's been a lot of like shorter injuries on, for example, Hanneman and the Griggs, and yeah, it's it's been a difficult time. But uh, oh, guys, I forgot to mention, or did I mention it? I'm not sure. Maybe I'm getting or old or something. But Derby is the number one team. They are topping the table, so we are playing against the dominant force in the league right now. We're going to tell them that we're not happy. 
I'm going to change the tactic around a slight bit. We're going to change the mentality to attacking. But yeah, the Derby team we are playing right now is the team that's topping the table. It's a team that, uh, where while we have been going downhill, they have been performing on top. And uh, yeah, we were under pressure there from the corner, but it looks like we're going to be safe for now. Here's James with throw in. Woodshot. Catermole. That pass goes to nowhere. Come on, lads. There's a lot of Derby players now around our box. I don't like this. I have a bad feeling. Clear by Baldwin. But what's up with that tackle? What are you doing, Michael? You set up a Derby player. And now we are behind. And uh, it looks like right now that the bad state might cont may continue. Co take a look at this. So this one is clear greatly by Baldwin. But that tackle straight into the box. I'm not sure. It would have been much safer if we just let, let him go. Because he would have had it at the uh, like the outskirts of the penalty area with his back towards the goal. It would have been a lot less uh, dangerous. James. McGeoch. Will shot. Trying to reach Wyke, our target man. But oh, look at this. Here is McBurney. McBurney into the box. And that's not the equalizer we wanted, but it's going to be a corner. So maybe maybe it's not uh, all over. And a decent try, I guess. But uh, I mean, at least we are getting some highlights now. As I say, that is pro I'm probably going to be for Darby. James picks it down, corner. Back to James. Will shot. McGeosh. Geos back to corner. James McGeos will shut on the left flank. Goes by himself into the box with a cross for Wyke. And it's actually his first uh, goal of the season. He haven't played much, but now with Will Griggs out with an injury, he's getting a little playing time here today. And um, he takes the chance, as they say. The players that have been uh, benched for us some time comes in and actually do something well. We are back in business against the team that's topping the table. But at home we need to be winning because we are so far away. And now of course Darby gets something ace up. And that was actually... Uh, I thought it was a save, but uh, it wasn't. I was supposed to say it was a beautiful save, but clearly he uh, missed it. I think we're going to take a look at the subs here. Was having a really bad day at work. McGeos has been garbage. Of course, we would have loved to have uh, Harry Wilson here, but you know the injury. That won't happen. Let's bring in uh, Kurt. He prepares to be in the left side, but um, he'll have to handle this. And then he's tired. I mean, Kettlemore haven't, haven't been playing great, and he is tired. He had to go. Let's bring in uh, Ledbitter instead. Clock ticks on, not much going on here. It's time for a loss, so we're not going to go crazy attacking with 1-1 against the team that's topping the table. We are most definitely not going to do that, but we are we are keeping our eyes on the things. We, we would like to win, but we always want to win. But yeah, right now we, we are not going crazy here. The clock just ticks on, five minutes of extra time. Not a single highlight for a long time. As I said that, we have a throw in his lead bitter. For Matthews back to Ledbetter, Matthews with the cross to nobody clear by the defense on Neon picks it up. Goes for Matthews on the right flag into the box. Here's some Kurt for Matthews. Kurt. Kurt. Kurt for I think that was an offside. Was an offside. It's no offside. It's no offside. It's no offside. This is very we're gonna pause it ASAP now. Because look at the clock. It's going to be like one and a half minute left. We are going to park the bus. We are most definitely going to park the bus. And of course, we're going to bring the guys down. C could you play here? Yes, you can. Yeah, like like this ish, I'll guess. Party the bus. We are leading versus the team that's topping the table. This is exactly what we could need to bounce back. But look at this, Matthews for Sian Kurt. Back to Matthews for Kurt. And then Kurt just turns around the cross for Bernie. And what an important goal. But now, now I'm nervous. That's actually his fourth goal this season, so he's having a good, good season. And here is Darby with throw in, and that's the full time whistle. And I'm actually very, very, very pleased with this win. So we're going to tell the guys that was a good win. I am a happy manager. I mean, some of you played like garbage, but what a win this was. 
And now let's take a look at the table. Let's see where we are. Now we're back at uh, playoff positions. Brilliant. Not too far behind the top. That's like a stone lifted from the chest. So I think we beat uh, the league leaders today. That deserves a thumbs up. So press the like button. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode.